Hey ladies, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Flow App. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest self purchase under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Flow App here? So we'll be giving you a to, uh, beginner's tutorial here on how to start using it. Well, first things first, you need to install the app itself. So in this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store, search for Flow, and you should be able to see the app itself. So typically, it's going to be the uh, feather uh, uh, icon there that's in pink. So in this case, let's go ahead and open it up. Now, the first thing you see here, it's going to welcome you in the uh, app itself. And first things first is going to be your privacy for the app. So you need to agree a few uh, agreements here, like the privacy policy in terms of use. And also, it is suggested that you read their privacy policy in terms of use just to know what you're getting into. But for now, we want to uh, agree to privacy policy in terms of use here and privacy policy here, processing personal information. And from here, if you want, also want to agree to use your personal data, accept health data to send pro uh, send you products regard and services uh, regarding uh, via email or the Flow app itself, you can go ahead and agree to that as well. And at the very bottom, you have the agree to allow Flow Track to track you across apps and websites owned by other companies. So they will actually give you uh, suggestions or recommendations if you want to allow that. But for now, we only want to agree to our privacy and in terms of use here and just click on the next button. Now, so in this case, are you using the Flow, uh, flow for yourself or if you have a partner code? Uh, for example, if you're a guy and you want to uh, basically have a uh, overview on how your uh, partner is uh, working right now or how their cycle is uh, going right now, well, you could use a partner code that, uh, that for you to connect to their account. So you should be able to see, uh, see certain details regarding uh, their cycle or from the Flow app itself. But if you're uh, the uh, person using it, you could just answer yes here. Let's go ahead and answer yes here. And from here, how do you find out about the app itself? So you could choose whatever actually applies to you here. So for example, I'm going to say this is from like friends or family. And from here, it's going to say when you were born. So in this case, let's go indicate a year here. So let's go and choose this one, click on next. And from here, it's going to say, uh, welcome to flow here. And it's going to ask you, are you pregnant? So in this case, uh, uh, go ahead and answer uh, whatever applies to you. So in this case, uh, you could answer no, or if you're here to uh, understand your body better, you could go ahead and do that. And if you want to uh, target uh, being pregnant later on, you could choose to answer that. But for now, let's go ahead and click on no at the very center here. And from here, it's going to say flow track over 2.0 billion uh, cycles. So it's going to give you different information. You could go ahead and click on next here. And from here, let's set up the uh, flow app itself. Let's go ahead and click on let's go. Now in this case, it's going to say flow is so much more than a preview tracker here. Let's go ahead and click on continue. There's actually a lot of features they offer here, like for example, tracking your symptoms or even uh, details about yourself. This is what can help you do, uh, what can they actually help you do here. For example, you if you want to sync your uh, uh, activities here or and your cycle it also have the decode any discharges and learn how to uh, do a few things here and manage your symptoms and mood so let's go and choose these two options here and just click on next now from here it's going to say got it will help you let's go and click on next here and from here it's going again going to give you some reviews and other information and it's going to again ask you how do you feel about your period so in this case maybe you want to say it's a love hate relationship here let's go and click on next now you have the join discussion here. Let's go ahead and click on continue here. So there's going to be a lot of details that they will be uh, allowing you reading here because there's going to be a lot of details they give you from the app itself. Let's go ahead and click on next again. So are your periods regular? So you could go ahead and answer yes or no, or if you don't know, just click on it, click on next. And from here, it's going to say log your periods to get accurate predictions. So immediately in the uh, welcome section here, it's going to also uh, give you uh, information or uh, give you a short tutorial on how to use the app itself, which is something really cool, especially if you're not that tech savvy or you're not sure how things work. So in this case, you could also answer I don't know here, or you could just basically indicate the days that you had your uh, last period start. So just to give you an example, we're going to set this as May 1 and just click on next. And from here, if I was going to ASA, what birth control do you use, if any? So if you're using any, go ahead and indicate that. But for now, let's go ahead and click on nothing here. And from here, do you suffer from any of these health conditions? So in this case, you could go ahead and answer uh, any that applies to you and just click on next. 
Now in this case, you have calculating your cycle predictions here. So in this case, let's go and click on continue. And in this case, it's going to say your next period will start around 29. So that's the current prediction for your next period. So already they're already giving you a lot of information here. So you click on next and continue. And did you know your discharge changes throughout your cycle? So in this case, you could skip this one by clicking on skip at the top right. And from now, let's go and click on continue. Now in this case, get to know your cycle patterns and what's normal for you. Let's go and click on continue here. And from here, how do you feel today? So if you have any crumps, any fatigues, bloating, tender, uh, tenderness, or backache, you could go ahead and answer that. But for now, let's go click on none of these and click on apply symptom. Now in this case, going to say always be ready for what's coming. Let's go and click on continue here. And finally, you, you could go ahead and do a quick health lifestyle check in. Go ahead and click on continue. Now in this case, do you experience any cycle related symptoms, like for example, cramps. If you're experiencing that, you can also select headaches here if you want to. And for now, let's go ahead and click on X. Now virtual health is sent in your pocket. So let's go ahead and click on continue again. And does your cycle impact your sleep? So if it doesn't impact that, you could go ahead and click on S or no. So let's just choose I'm not sure. Click on next. Now from here, it's going to ask you, does the your cycle impact your skin? It's going to say, I'm not sure, click on next. And from here, does your cycle impact your energy or activity levels? So you can answer yes or no here. Just go ahead and answer yes and just click continue. Again, the questions that you'll be getting here is uh, dependent on your own personal experience. So make sure to answer them as much as you can. That is actually related to you. So for now, let's go ahead and answer this uh, according to you until we see the main UI for flow. Now, once you've answered all the question here, it's now going to say personalizing your experience. Now, there's going to be a lot of questions before this page here, but once you've answered them truthfully, they will actually uh, personalize a few things in the app for you. Again, it's important to answer all those questions here. In this case, it's going to say get ready to have better lifestyle here. So you have flow users and with uh, comparisons with without flow users. Let's go and click on next here. And in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to tap and hold on the Flow logo to commit. So I will use Flow to improve your relationship with your period and know your better better. So let's go ahead and press and hold on that and keep on holding until you are welcome to Flow. Now in this case, it's going to say it's great to know you. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And if you're ready to control your period for anything, let's go ahead and click on yes, continue. And so we see the next pages here. So in this case, you will need to choose your plan next. Now in this case, uh, if you're not sure yet and you want to actually uh, try it for free first, you could choose the label free trial here. And from here, you have the option to try this for 14 days. In this case, let's go and click on start for four, uh, free 14 day free trial here. And from here, we just need to add a few details about ourselves, like the PM that we want to use. So let's go and click on subscribe here. And from here, it should process that. So let's just wait for it to process. Now in the main UI here, you should be able to see your calendar. Now by default, you should be able to see your calendar here, but at the bottom section of the screen, as you notice, there's going to be a lot of icons that you will all be able to access. So first is going to be insights. So in this case, insight is uh, basically gives you insight about the app itself, like articles that you could read and a lot more. So we also have these secret chats here if you want to uh, read a few things from uh, different users or the community itself. We also have the messages section. And if you have a partner, this is your, you, where you'll be able to uh, basically link your partner. Now in this case, let's go to our calendar here and let's go ahead and click on the calendar icon at the top right of your screen. Now in the calendar section, you should be able to see different uh, icons and different uh, circular or colors here. So. In this case, uh, the uh, section here that is in pink or circular in pink, uh, these are the days that you had your uh, cycle with uh, your um, uh, or when your cycle actually started or when you got your for uh, your period. Now, in this case, you could basically check or uh, click on them and you should be able to add symptoms on specific dates. Like, for example, I selected May 1 here since we selected May 1 as the start of the, uh, the cycle for this account. You could go and add some moods or uh, some uh, categories in here or some symptoms. Like, for example, if you had some light flow, you could go ahead and select that. You could also have add a section here for if you did any activities. You have also mood here. If you felt frisky, happy, mood swings, or energetic, you could also indicate that. And if you have any symptoms, you could go ahead and indicate all the uh, 
uh, things that you experienced that day. So anything that you add in here would actually translate or uh, flow here would actually calculate your uh, next uh, cycle. So what's uh, the uh, cycle here? So by the way, if you are like, for example, if you only had your period for three days, you're going to just click on edit period date here and just indicate where when you actually uh, had them. In this case, it's going to click on save at the bottom right. Now, you might be wondering what is the uh, year, uh, blue colors here on the date. So those are going to be your fertile uh, fertile dates. So meaning uh, there are increased chances of you conceiving. So uh, be wary on uh, those days if you uh, see it in your calendar. So by the way, this is your ovulation uh, uh, date. If you see a blue uh, that has a dotted circle on it, that is your uh, ovulation uh, date. Now, by the way, if you see a uh, empty circular or uh, empty dotted circular pink color here, it means that's your next uh, period. So you will be able to uh, basically track them if you want to. But yeah, so again, you should be able to see an overview on what's going to happen for uh, the next months or even a few weeks here. You can even edit them if you if you want to, like how many days you had your period. And yeah, add, even add some uh uh, some changes to your mood or any of the activities that you did now yeah so in this case using the app itself is actually pretty easy as long as you understand what are the colors uh, you see here uh, what are the uh, dates that you see here and what the uh, they actually si really signify uh, signif uh, gives you or what details or colors actually meant so yeah so those are the basics on how to use a flow app here and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video